हेलो स्टूडेंट्स के टी एच एम कॉलेज डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पॉलिटिकल साइंस क्लास एम ए एम कॉम एंड एम एस सी द क्रेडिट सब्जेक्ट ह्यूमन वैल्यूज एंड ह्यूमन राइट इज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय सावित्री बाई फुले पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर ऑल द पी जी क्लासेस स्पेशली फॉर द सेमिस्टर फर्स्ट so for this subject myself vasudha chandan shive welcome you all and about the subject this subject is for credit 1 and uh, the syllabus for this subject uh, we'll see in the next slide so students we will go through the syllabus of the credit subject there are four units the first unit is uh, the basic concept of these um, subject human values and human rights in that uh, human values in that the dignity the units such as dignity liberty equality justice unity in diversity ethics and morals as we uh, we are uh, know we know about this uh, terms it's a uh, it's uh, elements uh, of uh, day to day life and uh, the values and morals of the life after that uh, meaning and significance of human rights education this is the first unit the second unit is perspective of right and duties so in that the first one is right inherent in alleable universal individual and groups second is nature and scope of duties third one is the interrelationship of right and duties so these are the two unit the third unit is introduction to terminology of various legal instru in instruments so the first one is meaning of legal instrument the binding nature type of instrument covenant cha cha ka charter after that declaration treaty convention protocol executive orders and statutes this is article uh, this is uh, unit 3 now the unit 4 is united nations and human rights so it is the human right is a universal a uh, term we will say so we will learn on the international level uh, of the, uh, on the united nation so the first one is a brief history of human rights international and on uh, national perspectives after that provision of cha characters of uh, united nations after that universal declaration of human rights significance preamble civil and political rights from article 1 to 21 economic social and cultural right from 22 to 28 duties and limitations article 29 and the last one is final provision in article 30 so students this is the syllabus which we are going to learn about the subject so students the basic concept of the uh, human values we will say introduction so from uh, the uh, vedic literature we will say from uh, since 2000 years ago we will say um, the uh, vedic lit literature we have uh, learned about that so 2 uh, to 3 years 2 uh, to 3000 years ago according to the vedas human being has uh, the right to live so we are going to the uh, uh, the basic concept of the uh, human uh, values and human rights so first uh, according to the uh, vedas uh, human being has right to live right to achieve success right to perform good work share the fruits of it with others right to perform religious rituals 
and right to seek opportunities to live happily, divinely and peacefully. So, this is the basic basic concept of right uh, and uh, we will say values which were given according to the Vedas. So, the very, very basic about the values of the human values is the Sarve Bahantu Sukhina. It, we will say in the, uh, the meaning of this is that may all be happy, may all be healthy, may all enjoy prosperity and may none of them may suffer. So, this is the uh, basic uh, basic concept of human value. After that, the very important is Vasudeva Kutumbha. So, as we know, the meaning is that the world is one family. So, this is a very important value, we will say the human value. So, after the Vedic, uh, uh, Vedic literature, the Rig Veda gives the perspective of human, uh, human value and human right as all human beings are equal, all life is scared to be loved and respected. This is according to the Rig Veda. After that, Vajur Veda says that right of HB to live long and do his work. This is only the introduction part for the uh, very very basic concept I am giving. After that Atharva, equal rights over food and water, right to live peacefully without any fear. So this is according to the three Vedas. After that, the code of Hammurabi from uh, 1795 to 1715, so long. Uh, in that, the first one is equal protection of law and remedies for mistreatment of prisoners. So, we can see students from so long we are going through the, uh, the struggles and the remedies and the amendments and the protections of human life human values we can see from so from uh, so many thinkers so many philosophers so many socialists gave the statements and they uh, they mentioned their contracts and uh, so we are going through that in this uh, subject after that cyrus cylinder in uh, 359 bc in that freedom of religion, see, right to property and freedom to movement. After that, uh, in the Ashoka period, the edict of Ashoka, 269 to 320, 230, sorry, 231 BC, the pillar edict, uh, edict 4, in that, the u uh, uh, uniformity in law and uniformity in sentencing right to appeal and after that rock edict 4 he say in the in this perspective that is provision for medical treatment for the benefits of human so so see the basic the basic stamped the basic of the uh, human values and human rights after that, uh, the Rock Edict uh, 7, protection of right of freedom of religion. As we all know about this term, Manga Karta 1250, we know what is this. This is the first, the first, almost first written con constitution. So, in this, the perspectives were taxation limitation of feudal powers of the king reform of criminal justice system freedom of church uh, church and other bodies movement of people and goods family law administration of justice and as we know Mag, uh, Mag, Mag, uh, magana uh, carta is regarded as a first written constitution 
so students uh, for the uh, human rights and human values many eras many centuries went up went down so we will go through the important uh, movements which were uh, on the international levels so the host is renaissance movement as we have learned this in the 9th 10th 10th uh, standard uh, so in renaissance movement from uh, 14th and 15th century in greek and roman culture as we know in the greek and roman culture it was uh, happened the intellectual activity the spread of knowledge uh, discovery of the world and of the man uh, literature painting sculpture architecture flourished during the renaissance period so this was uh, happening so during this period have proved many long held religious belief wrong it also contributed to rise of humanism and religious tolerance so this period witnessed witnessed the scientific inventions geographical discoveries and the growth of material material pros, uh, prosperities so this is the renaissance movement after that the important is reformation movement in the 16th century the catholic uh, church as we know about the catholic church uh, authority was challenged following a revolt, uh, revolt against abuse of authority papal uh, papal taxes and corruption in the church after that the dutch uh, declaration of independence in uh, uh, 1581 uh, means the act of uh, abu uh, abjuration Uh, I it's uh, since uh, we will say uh, July twenty six fifteen eighty one. It was an important anti colonial struggle in the sixteenth century. William of Orange raised a big army and led the war of independence. So the Dutch declaration of independence was of high significance in the evolution of uh, we will say human values and human rights. so this is about the dutch declaration of independence which is a uh, 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 interrelated with the human values and human rights after that we have learned the glorious revolution in english right bill of rights so uh, it is in uh, 1689 the bloodless glo- bloodless uh, glorious revolution of 80 1688 the bill of right 1689 and act declaring the right and liberties of the subject and settling the succession of the crown after that an agreement of the people it was there in uh, 16 uh, 47 so the liberty of conscience and masters of religions uh, religion freedom from uh, conscriptions uh, and acts that laws uh apply equality uh, to anyone uh, everyone there must be no discrimination on grounds of tenure estate uh, character uh, then degree uh, after that birth or place this this was the, uh, there in the agreement of the people uh, 1647 after that the petition of right in 1628 the english parliament say has um, given the petition of right in that the first one was no taxes may be levied without consent of parliament the second was the no subject may be imprisoned without case shown it, which is present now in our constitution in the constitutional remedies that is habeas corpus no soldier may be quartered upon the citizenry and the material law may not be used in the time of peace so uh, this was in the petition of right 1628 so uh, we will go through the bill of right american declaration of independence so the first one was self evident truth equality pursuit of happiness liberty and life and a right to revolution self determination this was the perspective in the bill of rights 
which was the American Declaration of Independence. So, uh, in the uh, the Bill of Rights, the American uh, the perspective were given in the American uh, Declaration of Independence. The objective of the bills we will see: freedom of speech, press, religion, peaceable. After that, assembly and to the petitions of government. The second objective was right for the people to keep and bear arms as well as to maintain a militia, protection from quarantine of troops, protection from unreasonable search and seize, due process, double jeopardy, self-incrimination, private properties, trial by jury and uh, the right of the accused, civil trial by jury, prohibition of excessive bail as well as crucial and unusual punishment, protection of right not specifically enumerated in the bill of rights and the last one is power of state and the people so this is the objective of the bill which was given uh, by the american declaration of independence so students uh, we have gone through the uh, very basic concept of the human values and human rights so thank you students